We're on the red carpet for the She Rocks Awards with Laura Clapp Davidson. Hi, Laura. Hi, John. How are you? I'm good. Look at you. You look so uh, like you're ready to perform for us right now. <laughs> I wish. I wish I were performing. That's what I usually do for She Rocks. It's very sad. I know. So, Laura, um, tell me about like what your your past um, performance has been with She Rocks. How are you? How are you involved with the awards? Oh, wow. Um, well, I've known Laura for a while, Laura Whitmore, uh, and I've known her through the industry and she asked me to do a She Rocks Awards. What was the first one? I can't even remember. I think singing with her and Jenna. And so I was background singing on one of their tunes. I've yeah. my favorite, favorite thing I've ever done probably in my career is to sing for Melissa Etheridge. So when she was honored, I sang one of her tunes for her. Uh, and that was incredible. I've sung a Macy Gray song and I sang with Jenna last year. So it, it's just always such a cool show to be a part of. Very cool. Uh, you're in Nashville, correct? I was. I, I actually live in Connecticut now uh, and have been here for a long time. But yes, Nashville was where I, I lived for a long time. Wow. Well, Connecticut looks quite beautiful, too. It is late there, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a little bit. The there's kids are in bed, though. It's, it's all good. <laughs> That's cool. So tell me about... Um, why you think She Rocks Awards is such an important, you know, staple in our music business or music industry? I think that it's important because there are so many women that just kind of like to be in the shadows, you know, and the She Rocks Awards, what I love about it is that Laura always finds ways of highlighting these women who don't want to be in the spotlight, but when they get in the spotlight, it's so well-deserved. So that's what I love about it. I mean, of course, the honorees who are famous musicians and, and heroes of mine is so cool. But but seeing those heroes in our industry who just work at it every day to make these badass decisions and be boss women is is really cool. So that's my favorite part about it. Yeah. I mean, for you, you know, you're a songwriter, a musician, a, a, a backing vocalist, right? So, I used to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, you still are. Yeah, but, sure. <laughs> but but does is it is it? I mean, isn't that kind of what She Rocks is about? It's about like there's a lot of recognition for people who are, like you said, a little bit more in the shadows. I think. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I I think there's a spot for everyone, especially when they started bringing in sound girls to do the sound. Then it was just a fully produced female show, uh, you know. So seeing that and all the volunteers who come, my cousin and comes and volunteers, you know. So and she's not in the music industry at all. She just loves being a part of it. So there's a spot for everybody, and that's what I think is so cool. Why do you think that there's um, there's such a gap still in you know, the contributions of women in, in the industry and in the business? Well, I think, I don't think there's a gap in our contributions. I think it's just still a gap. Recognition, in, I would say. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, even, even if it's just, I don't know. I, I wish I had the answer to that because I kind of view my day to day as just, I'm here to work and I'm here to be who I am. And it's part of me, obviously that I'm a woman, but it's not the only part of me. So I feel like we're making so many strides more than we ever have. So it's a really cool time to be a woman in the industry, but I, I don't know why it's not there yet, but we're getting there. And you have children too, right? You're a mother as two well. Two girls. Yep. Two girls, girls too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you, what are they, are they interested in music? My older daughter, Ellie, she's a singer and she's into it. Uh, Blake sings all the time, but she's she claims to not be interested in anything right now at six years old, which is fine, I, you know. But yeah, Ellie is a beautiful singer. Yeah. What do you think about um, the path that you took in introducing your children to it? Do, do you enjoy the business as a place that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all the different facets that I've been in from music student to college student to professional singer, songwriter, backing vocalist, and uh, product specialist, and now marketing. It's something that just evolves. And that's what I always try to tell young uh, artists that are coming up. You never know where your career is going to take you. You know, when I stopped touring, I got this amazing gig demonstrating gear and figured out that that's something I'm really, really passionate about. And I still get to be a musician 
but I get a 401k and I, I get, you know, benefits and friends and industry contacts. So it's, it's been really kind of a different path, but a great path for me. And I will say yours is the best sound I've heard so far. <laughs> well, thank you, John. I do happen to have this wonderful thing to help. Me Absolutely. With that. And, you know, it is really interesting though, how it is that, you know, one of those things that might be overlooked by some. <laughs> by many actually. And yes. I just, I do these live streams a lot. Uh, we just did something for CES and, you know, that's what people always forget is the audio. Your video can look flawless. If your audio is subpar, especially on YouTube videos, people are going to bounce. But when we're on Zoom calls all day, it can be really fatiguing to listen to somebody talk through a bad mic. And so working for sure is a bonus because I get to teach people about mics and and sound great on the other end. So it's it's really fun. I agree. I feel like I'm listening to an FM radio station. I'm like, oh. <laughs> On what did she podcast. look like? And I love her. I want her to tell me things. <laughs> tell me a story. Tell me I'm pretty and feed me things. Yes. That's me, it. That <laughs> yes. Yes. But I love it. Now, um, what do you think that you've learned most about yourself this year? Oh, my gosh. That I have no patience. <laughs> I knew it already, but like I really know it now and I'm just taking ownership of it and working on it day to day because I love my family and I love my job and I love the travel aspect of it. And I found that that is a big part of who I am. So I've also learned that I love my family. So it's, it's you know, it's been a crazy year, but yeah, that I don't have patience. That's what, <laughs> that's what I've learned first and foremost. <laughs> I don't think you're alone in that. Oh my gosh. Good. I hope not. I no, hope I don't not. think so. I think a lot of people have learned that about themselves. <laughs> yes, definitely. Well, what would you like to say? Anything other thing to anyone out there too? Um, you know, aspiring to be in the music industry. Again, I think I think it's uh, there's a wonderful message here saying that there is multi ways to be involved. Mm -hmm. But um, how do you find the path that's right for you? Ooh. Well, I think honestly, just keeping an open mind is the best way. I, I remember graduating from Berkeley and thinking, I'm going to go to Nashville and, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to be a successful singer and yada, yada, yada. And then you just meet people along the way and your network expands. So I would say always keep your options open, never burn bridges and just grow that network. It's so much easier now because the virtual networks, but really cherish those relationships. And that's actually another thing I've learned during all of this is to just cherish the relationships that I've had for all these years and reach back out to people I haven't spoken to in a long time. I think that's really good advice because I think as we grow further away from each other, it's never been more apparent how much we need closeness. Absolutely. Well. Wow. I'm glad you were here on the red carpet tonight. I hope you enjoy the ceremony this evening. Thank you. I'm very excited. Yes. And I'll ask you one other thing too, like who, if you could collaborate with anybody or is there anyone that you're really excited to that's, that's on the bill tonight that you're going to see? Oh my goodness. Um, well, yeah, I mean, Nancy Wilson, she's like a hero of mine because she's just such a strong female rock star and guitarist. That's something I've always been jealous of. So her definitely. <laughs> is a good one yes all right well enjoy the evening tonight thank you